I just want to remind you that you are great, you are unique, you are beautiful in your own image. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa and I'm a public speaking coach. In today's session, I'm going to list five tips that can help you speak in power in public of power. And I've been doing this for the past 10 years. And maybe I don't know the industry or the career that you are in, but I just know that you need the steps to help you speak in public of power. So let's go to tip number one. But before we get into tip number one, just like, subscribe, or even go on to my blog if you want to learn more. There's a lot of content on my blog than even my YouTube channel. So go to my blog, www.ibrahimmustafa. And you will get to see a lot of content, articles about public speaking and uh, public speaking, digital marketing. There are a lot of content there. So number one is you need to practice. Practice is key if you want to win in public speaking. If you want to do much, you need to practice your presentations. You need to believe in yourself. And there are a lot of ways that you can practice. And people have outlined a lot of ways that you can practice. If you go to my uh, blog, you will see some of the ways that you can practice. But then, let me just itemize some of them. You can practice your briefing, how to brief in and brief out. You can practice that. You can practice with live uh, audience. So maybe people are sitting down, your friends and family. You practice with them. You can practice in front of the mirror. You can practice even by recording yourself on your phone. And all. there are a lot of things that you can do to practice your public speaking. Just do pick one and know that this is this will work for me. And if it works for you, just use that and keep on using that. Number two is work on your eye contact. Eye contact is key if you want to speak in public. Whether you're speaking directly to the camera or you're speaking to live audience, your voice can make a difference if you speak live. Right? If you use the eye contact. So what do I do if I get to stage... Uh, on stage and I see like a lot of people if the place is big and we have thousand or hundred or different pe uh, number of people I put the groups into the, uh, the audience into three categories so the middle the left wing and the right wing so if I speak if I'm walking I will walk small make sure I wash and speak to the middle cl people then I distribute my eye contact to the left and a little to the right and you do need to do this work walking slowly if you are walking if you are also using a podium you're standing on a lectern you can use that still distribute your uh, eye contact evenly by looking around and making sure that you disperse your eye contact to reach out to all the audience and sometimes you pick someone at the back and do that number two is number three tip record yourself record yourself Record yourself, see how you, you you gave your presentation, record yourself and uh, see, know, like hear your voice, your gestures, your hands, your movement and all those things. Recording yourself will help you. So if you are about to speak, make sure you arrange for a recorder so that once you are speaking, you record yourself. And after your presentation, you get to evaluate and see how you are moving, were you moving fast were you walking fast or slow? Were you too slow? Was, was your voice high or low? So and uh, only recording can help you with that. Sometimes someone can help you with that assessment, but they may not tell you the reality. They may feel like if you are bad, they will never tell you. And that's the, the fact about public speaking. If you are bad in speaking, they'll say, oh, it's good, it's good. Because they don't want to feel you to feel bad. So if you have a recorder, you can get to assess yourself and work on your next presentation. Number four, the fourth tip is always have water nearby. So if you are speaking like I'm doing, have water nearby. It's not wrong to speak and drink water. Sometimes you're speaking, you're fatigued, you're speaking, your voice is dry, you need water, you're feeling like uh, hydrated, you need to dehydrate yourself or stuff. And uh, you don't, there's no water. So you need to have water nearby so that you can always drink anytime you need to drink water. Right. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. It's, health, it's like your health is important in your pre presentation. So make sure you take care of yourself 
and in a professional way. Number five, the fifth tip is create opportunities to speak. A lot of us feel like, okay, I'm a good speaker, so people will find me. No, you need to find speaking opportunities. Reach out to conference organizers, use TikTok Live, use Instagram Live, use Facebook Live, use YouTube, different platforms now, Twitter Spaces, you can use Clubhouse, and you can even go out to schools, universities, organizations, and speak, create opportunities to speak. So I believe this thing, this may have helped you. These tips may have helped you in one way or the other. So if you are finding value in this, why don't you go to www.ibrahimmustafa.com and reach out to me and we will be friends. Send me a message and if you li like this content, please reach out to me and uh, let's take it to the next step. If you also want to partner with me on my blog, you want me to write information about you on my blog and hype you and give you that uh, kind of like opportunity to raise your image and standard, please reach out to me and I will do that for you. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams. Go out and make a big difference. But speaking will give you more opportunities. Speaking will give you that leverage. So that if you stand in front of people, you sell your product, your brand, and people get to know you and who you are. And these are some of the opportunities and reasons why you need to speak. And since you need to speak, speak. If you have. But the question I want to ask you is, what is your experience about speaking? Leave a comment. Uh, what is your best experience or worst experience about public speaking? So leave a comment and let's react to that. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the opportunity. I believe in you. My name once again is Ibrahim Mustafa. Go on to www.ibrahimmustafa.com and let's communicate. I believe in you. I believe in the power of your dreams. Let's go.